Hi, let's continue our discussion on the Markov inequality. So the question from the previous segment asked that if you have a random variable x which is non-negative, and is it, uh, and also that the expected value of x is one, is it possible that probability of x is larger than a hundred, is larger than zero point five? Um, there are two more cases and we'll ignore that just we'll just focus on this okay so i hope your answer is that this is not not possible and what is the reason for that uh, what is your reason for that i hope you have come up with some of the reason and uh, we can look at just the definition of x okay expected value of x so it's basically it's equal to the sum right of all possible value of x and it's going to be i times probability that x equals i right and this is at least if we just ignore all it cannot be negative right so we can just say this is from zero to infinity right and we can just look at the point where x is at least a hundred so we can say that this is uh if we just look at this uh, this contribution, if you know that x is a hundred, uh, at least a hundred, with this probability zero point five, then uh, what are these? Uh, if you look at the, let's look at the distribution first. So you have hundred here, and there's some you know. There's some a lot. There's a lot of probability that x is going to be here zero point five, right? Um, if you look at just the expected value contributed by this value of x here, you can see that um, so the minimum possible value of x here in this range is that it's, it's 100, right? And if we just um, decrease the value of x where it's greater than 100 down to the point to just uh, 100, just look at here. So in, in the in the in in that case, we're gonna end up in this case that look like this. So a hundred, and you have this is point five, right? But the min minimum value of x is gonna be zero, right? So uh, if you wanna make the expected value as small as possible, then we supposed to put uh, another point five at zero, right? But even after we do, we we do this, okay? So that originally there might be some some distribution of x around here right if you want to make the expectation as small as possible we push everything down and we get to this this bar and the upper thing we push down to to this so this random this is another random variables uh it's going to have the expected value as uh you know cannot be greater than x because we push everything down right so but for this random variable what is the expected value that we get it is at least 50 okay but we, we know that expected value of x is just one then uh, it is impossible to to have uh, the probability of x to be larger than 100 to be as 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 large as this okay so that's that's the idea but if if you want to do that uh, uh, analytically you can look at this uh, expression and really like it it like this so uh, this has to be uh, larger than you know at least if i just throw away the probability in the beginning right so just ignore everything less than 100 so i have this right and i is now i is at least 100 so i i pull it out 100 okay so this is at most the the previous value and let me have the the O sum with I, I outside. Okay, I, I pull 100 outside because I is at least 100. If you sum them up, okay, so sorry. You sum them up, so this is, so this is the probability that X is at least, at least uh, 100 and it's at least uh, 0 0.5. So it's going to be 100. This is going to be at least 100 times 0 0.5 which is equal to 50 but we know that this is just one 
Okay, so it's just one. So it's impossible. So one is cannot be, you know, great at, at least 50. So this is not possible. So this is not possible. All right. So that's the, 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 the basic idea. Okay. So um, let me state the Markov inequality. And you can try to prove it yourself before watching this video to the end. Okay. So the Markov inequality state that if x is a non-negative random variable and a is greater than zero then the probability that x is larger than a is at most it depends on two things one is the expected value of x so if expected value of x is small then this is this is going to be small as well and if a is large then the probability that x this thing is uh is large is is uh uh, depends uh, inversely with a so this is the Markov inequality okay so the probability of X is larger than a is at most the expected value of X over a so let's see how we, uh, we're gonna use it okay so recall that the, in the birthday problem if you let K the number of ball be this okay and we remember that that the expected number of pairs of balls is gonna be at most k square over n okay over 2n something like that okay and in that case if we plug everything down we can see that uh, the expected number of ball, uh, pair of balls landing the same bin is at most this okay can we show that using the Markov inequality that the probability that you have a collision so that is you have a collision means what does it mean, right? Uh, it's at most this. If if you look carefully, it's the same number, okay? So uh, I'll, I'll get you started, and 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 we'll I'll wait for you to finish the work. So let me define let t x be the number of pairs of balls landing in the same bin okay we know that expected value of x is 1 over 200 oh. 1 over 200 right and uh, we want to show that we want to show something right you want to show that probability something okay is at most 1 over 200 okay so what is this? What is what does it mean to have uh, to have a collision? Okay. So I'll wait for a few seconds so that you can uh, try to think about it and try to use the Markov inequality. Okay. So Markov inequality says that for non-negative random variable x, this this is important, right? From probability of x is larger than a is at least a is at most e x over a so this is the Markov inequalities can you use that to show this to show something to show this and and what is this okay this is important all right I'll wait for a few seconds And surely, again, you can pause the video, all right? All right. Uh, the probability that you have a collision. So when you have a collision, you have that the number of pair of balls, right, landing in the same bin is uh, larger than one. It's at least one. So we have that the probability. So when you have collision, then we have the probability of collision collisions equals the probability of x is at least one right is is so the, the goal we want to show this okay so let's do it okay so we want to show that so um we can use the uh markov inequality by plugging in the value of a to be one okay so from 
mark of inequality we have probability of x okay, larger than 1 is going to be at most expected value of x over 1 and that's uh, as we have already computed is this so as required okay, so that's it so the, the key idea is to figure out this and then the rest is that you can argue that x cannot be large because the expected value of x is small and x is clearly we have to make sure that x is clearly the non-negative random variable all right so x is not negative all right so let's see the proof of the markov inequality all right so we we'll proof by contradiction So we prove by contradiction. So if you don't understand what proof by contradiction means, you should go back and look at what uh, you have learned in discrete math course. All right. So we assume that. So assume that probability of x larger than a is at least uh, is large sorry it's larger than e e x over a okay so assume that it has to be larger okay it's because the the uh, statement say that this is at most right so so assume for contradiction proof that this is too large okay so now we write we from some the definition of definition of expected value of x we have we have that uh we have e of x equals so this is pretty much what we did uh in the beginning of this clips okay this is from minus infinity to infinity i times probability of x equals i okay now because x is non-negative i can rewrite everything like this zero to infinity i times oh, times probability of x equals i okay now let's uh, let's ignore the prob the the part where i are small. So this is uh, at least okay. This is at least uh, sum of i from a to infinity i times probability of x equals i. Okay. Now all the i in this sum is at least a. So if I just take a out, okay, then I can claim this. So factor i out, but not not everything is i. So let divide let uh upper uh lower bound this with with i i uh with i with a. So I take i out, and then now this is probability of x cos i. Then uh, what what are this? So then we know that the last part, last part is a is here, and this probability of x is at least a, right? So this is the probability of x is at least a, because it's sum over all possible value of x from a to infinity. Now but we know that this value okay from the assumption okay we know that this value is is greater than this so it ha this thing is greater than uh, a times expected value of x over a and a cancel so this is larger than expected value of x so we end up with the expected 
value of x larger than expected value of x, which is impossible. So we end up with uh, contradiction. Okay, so this is the contradiction. So we assume we assume something, and we end up with a contradiction. Contradiction. So this assumption is impossible. Okay, so we start with some assumption, and we from that we we show that there's there's a contradiction. So this is this is wrong. So it's impossible. So we have the theorem. Okay. So it's all right. All right. So um, uh, the Markov inequality is is one of the tails in inequalities. What does it mean to be a tails? So suppose you are here. This is your expectation. Okay. And the tails inequality says that okay, if you far from the expectation, the probability that you here are small. Okay, so this is the what people people call the tails of the distribution. So it says that this part is small. So for the Markov inequality, so suppose this is e of x, the probability that you are say twice e of x is just one half. Okay, so it's it look like like this it would go like this okay like linearly with the uh the further you go from from the the expected value so if you are four times e x then uh then you are about uh, you can be at most uh one fourth or something like that all right so this is uh this is the the uh, introduction to one of the tail inequal uh important tail inequalities markov inequality that we can uh, use to show that uh, if the expected value of some non negative random variable is small the probability that this random variable can get large is going to be small as well we'll see more inequalities later in the course